Leo on the seventh house cusp. In this video, that's what I'm going to be discussing. Leo on the seventh house cusp, what it means when someone has Leo on the seventh, how to master this placement and how to make best use of this placement and really how to understand this placement, right? Now, make sure you stick around all the way to the end because I'm going to be giving you really good information about this. And if you gain value from this, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment and all that good stuff and let me know what you think, all right? So Leo on the seventh house. Let's get into it. So the sign on our seventh house cusp represents the type of partner we need and the type of partner that balances us out. Very important. The sign on our seventh house cusp will tell us the type of partner we need and the type of partner that brings balance into our life. So with that being said, having Leo on your seventh, the type of partner that you need is you need a Leo like partner, a partner with Leo like energy and a partner with Leo like energy is the type of partner that will balance you out. This sign is the opposite of your rising sign, which is the sign that's on your first house cusp. Okay. So this is how it works. The sign that's on your first house, the sign that's on your seventh is the opposite of that. All right. So this sign is the opposite of your rising sign, which is the sign on the first house cusp. Having Leo on the seventh house of marriage and partnership, you need a Leo like partner that will help you with creating for validation because having Aquarius on the first house, you tend to be more concerned with creating for humanity and not yourself. Someone that helps you to be a star and shine. All right. So the seventh house again rules marriage and partnership. So not only like personal partnerships such as marriage, but also business partnership. So you need a Leo like marriage partner and you also need a Leo like business partner. And what the reason why you need a Leo like partner to balance you out is because they help you with creating for validation. They help you with being creative to gain acceptance, right? Because it's easy for you to create for humanity and just serve humanity and, you know, not care about validation, but you need a Leo like partner. That's going to help you with creating for validation. And they're going to help you with being a star and shining, right? Because that's what Leo is all about is, Hey, I'm creative, but I'm creative because I want to be liked and I want to be accepted and I want to be recognized and I'm a star and I want to shine and having Aquarius on the first, you don't understand that energy. You don't understand creating to be liked and creating to be accepted. You don't really understand the whole concept of being a star and wanting to shine and wanting validation and recognition and wanting to be seen. You don't understand that type of energy because you're more all about serving humanity and doing what's necessary for the group, the organization, the cause, and whatever movement it is that you're a part of and whatever it is that you and your friends got going on. All right. So you need a Leo like partner that will help you with, for creating for validation and being a star. You need a partner that helps you to be more socially accepted, passionate, loving, and creative with their Leo and fire energy. Okay. So uh, Leo is all about being socially acceptable. Aquarius does not care about being accepted socially. Like they Aquarius energy and people who have strong Aquarius energy don't care. They literally do not care about socially acceptable. They're perfectly fine with not being accepted with by society. But now Leo energy is more about being socially accepted because we all want to be socially accepted. There is a part of us that wants to be socially accepted, right? And it is good to act in a way to be accepted by uh, our society, right? And a Leo like partner helps you with that. They help you to not be as weird and different and so odd and just so strange. They help you to be more socially acceptable. They bring out a passionate nature in you. They bring out your more loving side and your more creative side with their Leo and fire energy. All right. So that's very important. They help you to be more passionate and socially acceptable. The seventh house also represents open enemies. Very important. See, it goes two ways. So now the sign on your seventh house can be this great marriage partner, great business partner, but it can also tell you the type of person that's an open enemy. Like I can't stand those people and I can't stand people with that energy. So when it comes to people with Leo like energy, you may, you can't stand them. Like they're too selfish. They need too much validation. They need too much praise. They need too much attention. They're too dramatic and extra, you know? So those, so people with Leo like energy can also be open enemies for you when you have this placement. All right. So that's, the biggest takeaways from this. A Leo like partner will help you to shine, help you to create for validation, be socially acceptable, passionate and loving. But you may also feel like, man, I can't stand Leos. I can't stand people with Leo energy because they need too much validation. They're too dramatic. And that's everything you need to know. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Take care.